So as far as this chart is concerned, not only does it tell me what nozzle size uses what amount of pressure, but it also gives me an efficiency indication. So the indication on there is less than 100 psi and I start diminishing in efficiency as far as my blast operation is concerned. So it's important to remember that when you get a, a compressor, make sure that it's adequate to fulfill the requirement of the blast pot, the air prep, your breathing air helmet, and the blast nozzle in which you select. So say for example, I got a compressor that was uh, ended up on site that was too small. Basically all I need to do is come back in nozzle size. Yes, it affects my productivity. Yes, I don't do as much as I expect to do in a day. But more importantly, I still maintain a blast pressure of around 100 PSI. If you're under 100 PSI, you are wasting grit, you are wasting your time. So always keep that pressure up around the 100 PSI. There's nothing wrong with going with the bigger nozzles after you go over number seven. There's absolutely nothing wrong with increasing the air pressure up to 110 to 115 PSI. What that does, it, it increases your productivity and makes the cut a lot more appropriate.